Right then guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we're looking at a budget monitor from MSI. Now this is 1080p, 180 hertz. It is a one millisecond response. And of course it is an IPS display. Now it does come with two HDMI ports and one display port. Over just 400 FPS, it feels buttery smooth. I got no problems at all. And it feels great. Now, yeah, it is 1080p, not the overall best resolution in my opinion. But then again, that's really up to you. If you want a 1080p gaming monitor, to be honest, it isn't actually bad, considering that it's 150 to 160 pound. That's actually rather cheap, to be, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, and I died. Right, now, when it comes to this monitor, what I will say is the overall design looks nice. It's simple. It does have the MSI logo and branding everywhere, which is actually expected from MSI. But, considering the price, it is VESA mount compatible. It does come with two HDMI ports and one display port, and... It's, like I said, 180 hertz, 1080p, it's got fast response rate, it's got it's an IPS to panel. Now, why they say about night vision, I don't know, but that's just me. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know about night vision, but what I will say is the monitor isn't the brightest I've ever had, but then again, it's a budget monitor, so it's not going to be the brightest. Are you? So yeah, it's not going to be the brightest monitor, but of course that's going to differ. If you're in the dark, of course, it will look a lot brighter. But one of my things, I prefer a, a, a quite a bright monitor. Who's shooting at me? Oh. So yeah, let's get into another game. Right then, so this is the mountain itself. Now, as you can see, there's no bells and whistles, there's no fancy RGB because they were going for the price that cost matters. Now, yes, it does have the massive dragon, which me and MSI do actually have in common. My logo is a red dragon. Now, it is VESA, VESA mount compatible. As you can see, it uses four screws. Now, yes, it does do height adjust swivel it goes back and forth each side like that now it does tilt not much and it goes down and up when it comes to the ports the overall ports on here are you get two hdmi and one display port and then of course you get the power and then you've got audio out now this isn't a very high wattage monitor to be fair it's not really rated for high watts now what i will say for its price range at 159 pound it's actually not bad i mean if you want a few kid that's actually not good that's not actually a bad start off point when it comes to a monitor personally myself i would prefer a bigger monitor but that's just me I'm used to a bigger monitor, so it's kind of hard for me to go back down to a smaller monitor. Now, the overall design, it's easy to put together. Yeah, it's plastic and stuff, but they were going for cost. They weren't going for the most flashiest gaming monitor on the market. Now, it's got all the features you need, and of course, for 1080p, I don't play 1080p personally. I play 1440p, but for the 1080p experience, this is good and the price point is on par with majority of budget monitors to be honest now when it comes to, like i've said the brightness isn't very bright the speakers actually sound okay now they do get a little bit tinny at the peak of the speaker when you start hearing loud noises now that's because this is a budget monitor it's not for the best experience it's for the best cost mainly it's for cost to performance so you know if you don't 
I certainly I wouldn't personally use the speakers. I'd probably get a headset and own my myself. But if you want to use the speakers, at least they're there. Not every monitor at this type of price range will include monitor speakers, which I think is a good thing because I like to see monitor speakers on monitors, even if they don't sound the best. At least if you're waiting for your speakers or a headset to come back in the lip for deliveries, at least you've got the option of having onboard speakers. So yeah. Hmm. Okay, and so this is some um, Starfield gameplay. Now, this monitor is primarily for cost to performance. Now, it does come in at £159 MSRP from MSI. It's got a lot of features, especially for this price point. It's IPS, so you won't have any problems when it comes to, like, VA panel problems. It's got 180 hertz, it's 1080p. It's got one millisecond response. It's got night vision, which don't ask it's got wide color gambit of course it's got height adjust it's got swivel it's got all those type of features you want at a very low price budget now 159 pound that is not a lot of money for a monitor monitors can get up to the thousands of pounds and you'll have weird like big huge curves or the corsair like that pull one that you pull the curve that one so for the price point if you're looking for like a gaming monitor for your child or your first ever PC setup, or something like that. I think primarily for your kid, looking for something that's cheap, and at least then you can have a gaming experience. Well, this isn't bad. It doesn't have all the frills, the bells and whistles, because it's not made for that type of market. It's made for the budget line. Now, the system I'm using is the FX800 case from Be Quiet. It's got an... Ryzen 9 5900X, 16 gigs of DDR4 from Team Group, the Sapphire Pulse RX 7600X, the graphics card, MSI motherboard, it's got NVMe, it's got hard drive, it's got SSD, it's got all that, all the features you want, so fairly high end when it comes to the CPU, fairly mid range when it comes to the GPU. Now, in order to play this at a good experience, you do need the system, but of course, at 1080p, I think there's a little bit overkill for this this graphs card, but that's just my opinion. But what I will say is it's running buttery smooth. It does not, there's no lag. As you can see, the frames here are very consistent. Well, a little few jumps, but that's probably when you're like this. See, it? when I'm going like this, you can see the frame, but they're starting to jump. But you start playing, the frames start coming a lot better and it's actually a good gaming experience when it comes to Starfield. Right then, so something that I really should show you is the interface. Now, it does have a toggle switch at the back. Now, you press in. Now, this is the overall menu. Now, yeah, it does come with a lot of different game modes like FPS, Racing, RTS, uh, RPG. comes with a night mode does come with a fast response time, which you can do for the fastest. Now, it does come with this, which is basically adaptive sync, which was off for some reason. Uh, it does come with professional pro mode. It comes with low light. A bit fast for brightness. Then it comes with that. And then it comes with image enhancement. Now, yeah, you could make the overall, the overall picture better, but... That's really up to you. Now, this is in eco mode. So if I go to. Yes. So, right, here we go. Right, then, here we go. Now, it's got a lot of different types of functions. Now, I wouldn't say I'm overly fond of the interface, but it's better than a lot of the interfaces I've actually used before. Now, this does have a quite a few functions, and this is night mode. I, it's a, You can use AI to actually get it done. I wouldn't personally use night mode unless, of course, you're doing it at night, but then again, why would it matter? But that's just me. Now, if you want it for professional, I don't know why they got a professional mode on you because this isn't the type of monitor you'd buy for a professional. But it's there, so... Enabling with the brightness is a tad better. 
yeah, it is actually, actually, yes, the brightness is better. Now, it does have sharpness, it has colour, temperature, and then, of course, it's got screen size, so you can use the aspect ratio. Be a, I like 16 by 9 with every single monitor, unless, of course, you go in ultra-wide, and then you can't. But, you know, look, the settings are there. It's got all the features you need from a modern gaming monitor. Right then, so, look, you've seen some CSGO gameplay. You've seen Starfield ga uh, gameplay now. But I will say I've used it now for the last three days since I've come back from family stuff away. Now, I've used it primarily on my test bench. Like I said in the previous video of the specs, if you want to know the specs, I will put them up here on the video for you. Now, I don't have equipment to do the, the overall colour grading and stuff like that. But what I will say is at this type of price range you're not going to be expecting it to have the best color range you're not going to have it to have the best brightness the best contrast and stuff like that but like msi told me this is for the price to performance when it comes to a monitor now prices of monitors some can go absolutely crazy over the thousands of pounds mark and i honestly think Unless you're looking for that specific monitor, you're willing to spend that kind of money, I personally wouldn't bother. Now, my price range is between the £300 and £400 mark when it comes to a monitor because I find that the best, like, middle ground. But for a budget monitor, it is between the £150 to £200 mark. Now, if you want this for your kid to play CSGO or Fortnite or whatever other games the kids are playing these days, this certainly will do it as long as you've got the computer to run it. No, it's not the brightest. No, it doesn't have the best speakers. No, it's not the best colour. But, at least for this price range, it has speakers. I've had monitors here that have cost almost double this that don't even have speakers on board. So at least it comes with that option. Yes, it's not the brightest. The colours, they're okay. They're not bad. For something this price range, I wouldn't expect it to be the best, to be absolutely honest. And it's 25 inches. But I honestly think, for the money, it's not actually a bad deal. So, what I will do down below, I will leave a link for this monitor. If you guys want to see every single detail about this monitor, then please go over to the MSI website. It will have every single detail that i haven't covered for you there and i will leave a link for amazon as well as other retailers for you to check this monitor out because it could be on sale it could not be but that that's really dependent on the market so i hope you guys have a fantastic week and a week ahead weekend ahead of you this is richard from Tech. don't forget to subscribe because i got another monitor coming from alc and i've got loads more stuff that's here but just haven't got through to it so yeah. This is Rich for Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.